Hey, this is Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering how to use the Elementor Pro Share Buttons widget. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say, if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend picking it up. If you want to do so and, and support my channel, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. I also wanted to mention that I'll be covering every single one of the Elementor Pro elements in videos and making a nice big playlist on my channel so be sure to subscribe for more Elementor Pro videos and with that out of the way let's dive into the video. The share button element is a great one. In the past I used to recommend that people add plugins so they can have sharing features on posts and things that they do on their website but now if you have Elementor Pro it saves you time from needing to actually install another plugin and adding that and who wants to have more and more plugins on their website I'm the kind of person where I want to have as few as really I need. And with Elementor Pro, you avoid having to add another one because it has the share buttons built right in. So if we were wanting to add one to our site, let's just go down here. It would be great to have it added to post, but for this example, I'm just going to show you the features. If we go and click the plus button here, we're going to be able to find on the left side where it says share buttons right here. And I'm going to just drag that in and drop it in there. And now you can see by default we have these three buttons and when you highlight over them you see which one it is hovering over. It's a pretty nice feature out of the box. I actually like the layout on this more than when you start to edit it. But let's go through how to do some things in here now. So if you wanted to you can add another item and right here by default the network is for Facebook. And let's just say you wanted people to have the option to email it to someone else. You can do that. And I'm going to add one more. I'm going to add a very popular one that's actually popular in Brazil, and that's WhatsApp. I know every business when I was there has WhatsApp phone numbers for their business, and it's posted right outside their business. It's pretty crazy how much WhatsApp is really used there. And if you wanted to have the options for people to share on these different networks, that's how you would have them right here. Now, you can also go and reorder them. So let's just say you're in Brazil and you want WhatsApp to be first. You can put that ahead of the other networks here or you maybe don't want to share it on linkedin you can go right here and click x to delete that so right now we have four whatsapp facebook twitter and email and these are places where people could share your content on these networks just by clicking the button to share it so what we can do down here is we can choose the view so it says icon and text by default if we change this to just icon we're going to have the small icons right here or we can just have the text only. I really like how it looks with icons and text because you're getting both the visual and the color and the name, all three for the trifecta there. So in my opinion, it's really just more awareness that's being brought to the option for people to share it when they see each the icon, the name, and the color that is associated with it. So if we go down here, it says skin gradient. You can go through this again and change these. I like the one that we have it on, but there's minimal, framed, and there's also box icon which isn't bad and we have flat down here which i like so i'm going to leave it as gradient right here because we get the nice effect has a nice look to it with the gradient i think here for shape you can go with round it and it's going to round the corners or you can just go with circle and make it more like a pill shape right here it actually looks a lot like a pill with the gradient there i'm going to leave it as square and then right here it says columns and it's on auto so right here we can view what it will look like on different devices. So if we were to click on that, let's just go and click tablet and we can see what it will look like on the tablet. And then you can choose how wide you want it. Maybe you want it four wide and you can see it adjusts and fits properly. Or if you want it to have two, you can have it go like that and it will adjust and fit properly. If we go down to mobile, we'll see what it looks like on a mobile device with two, just like that. Or you can also go and change it to be four again but it's not going to fit very well on a mobile so you probably want to go one or two on a mobile device then on a tablet i think two looks fine but if you wanted to you can make it four and then for a desktop let's just leave it as it is with auto i'm going to center it though so it's in the center so there's different options here now down here it's the target url and it's going to be default to the current page I would recommend that you leave it as the current page in almost every scenario because people are sharing the current article that they're reading with other people and they want to be able to share the target URL that the page is actually focused on that they're reading when they're sharing it with other people. So I think it makes sense to use the current page almost every time 
but if you want to add a custom page you can do that down there as well so if we move over to style you can do a lot of styling here you can change the columns gap right here you can see i'm going to just put it back to 10 but you can also change row gap as well if you were going to have multiple rows right now we have them all in one row but that's how you would do that you give gap between each row you can change the button size right here bigger or smaller as needed i think it looks pretty good by default so i'm going to leave it as is again icon size you can change as well i think a little bit bigger icon doesn't hurt it draws more attention to it so i'm just going to leave it as three for here and then the button height you can change as well if needed so there's options here that you can use it's actually very straightforward to use this one i think it's one of the easiest elements to use within elementor pro and down here it says color official that is the official colors of these different networks for whatsapp facebook and twitter and if we go to custom you can add your own color right here i'm just going to leave it as is for official i think again people associate that color with that network and it's easier for them to see and it stands out to them a little bit more in my opinion and here you can change the typography as needed if you don't like the typography that's currently on there so you would just want to go and click update to finish whatever changes you have made throughout this process here and setting up these social sharing buttons and i really just wanted to say i hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about the elementor pro share buttons widget if you did please feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more elementor tutorials thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day